All right, here we go. Let's learn Windows to Linux. I've done this entire series before, so this is uh, not going over the same content. I wanted to go at it at a new angle. So uh, if you're not familiar with my Windows to Linux series, I did an entire Windows to Linux series based around Pop! OS, which is uh, designed by System76 that create computers, and really it's dedicated for desktop users, people that are really use Linux as a daily driver instead of like a Windows or Mac solution. That whole series, really good, kind of goes over all the different facets of it in Pop! OS. But uh, that whole workflow, it may not be for everybody. So I wanted to approach this from a different angle this time. In this video, I'm going over the whole introduction to Linux. And this time, instead of using Pop! OS, we're going to use Linux Mint. Now, Linux Mint is a great uh, beginner distribution for Linux because it's so much like Windows. Uh, if you're real familiar with Windows, which most people are, you'll be right at home because of where everything sits, how uh, cohesive the whole uh, system is. The whole distribution is very, very well done. So that's what this whole video is about. So let's get into the entry into Linux from Windows using Linux Mint. Before we get into the video, I do live stream over on Twitch both Monday and Friday. Uh, so if you'd like to ask a question, head over there, ask me live, or you can check out all the archives of all my past streams over on Chris Titus Tech Streams. The links are in the description. So with that, let's get into our video. Now, this whole series is going to be broken down into parts. So if you're looking for a specific thing, definitely check out the video. Uh, this whole series will probably take about two weeks to produce. So if that video is not out yet, just know it will be out in several days. Now, this is the introduction video to Linux Mint and really uh, explaining what Linux is compared to Windows or Mac. So with that said, let's get into the introduction of Linux Mint and why Linux Mint. Uh, Linux Mint looks very much like this. This is the desktop. From the desktop, you have a lot of Windows-esque start menus and other aspects of Mint that are very much similar to your Windows counterpart. But you also have package managers and other things that are better because you can easily install any program you want basically with just a, a pop-up of the store and click install and go. But not everything is in here, and I'll go into definitely some of the nuances and things where you'll run into issues in, in a later video. But for this one, I wanted to just stick to this store. So that's just how it looks, how it feels, certain aspects of it. But I'll go into, the, in the following video to this one, I want to go into the installation of it. And then I'm going to go into the configuration where you'll actually do deep dives into the theming, um, just various things to actually change around. And then uh, kind of finish out this video, I want to go ahead and go into what comprises of a Linux distribution because so many people realize that when it comes to my Pop! OS series, uh, I did a lot of changes in that. And I wanted to just kind of touch on those real fast uh, so you understand some of the terminology in Linux as this is a basic video before you actually get into the installation because you need to know what you're doing before you jump in. So the first thing, obviously, is there's live environments that you can actually live in. So before you install it on your computer and go to the installation video, definitely install it on like a thumb drive, boot from it. And if you're not familiar with that, by all means, check out the installation video that's going to be after this one. And that one, will you can boot into the live CD and then actually live in it a little bit. And then you're like, OK, this is for me. I want to go ahead and install it. You can do that or you can just kind of play around with it and then go right back into Windows. Booting into your USB drives, obviously not destructive. So this is the best way to start using Linux. I highly recommend everyone try it here, or you can use something called a virtual machine and boot into that. Um, there's also some websites, but these are real laggy and they don't give a good experience. So I don't recommend the websites that kind of let you try Linux. I recommend just making your own little USB media, booting that, and then messing around with your actual PC and then going, okay, I, I think I know enough. I can now do a destructive and, and actually go ahead and install Linux and full time it as a main daily driver. So that's the first thing I would definitely recommend everyone doing as introduction into Linux. The next thing is when you actually get in here, you're going to have to learn new things. So uh, with Linux, 
it depends on the user. So I like to use my mother-in-law as an example. I've done it a lot in the past. I've installed Mint. I've installed uh, Pop! OS. Both uh, work well for her. And she was on both. I think I first installed Mint about three or four years back, and she rocked that for about two years. And then I switched her to Pop! OS just to give her something a little different. Uh, both very good. And uh, both, honestly, depending on your workflows, one might be better than the other. That's why I'd say these are the two I always recommend. Um, but with Mint, I, I noticed that if you're very familiar with Lin Windows, you're going to have an easier time. She was uh, pretty much computer illiterate, so honestly, it didn't, didn't matter which one she used. Uh, and off the get-go, if you fall into this base user category where you're not necessarily literate with computers, you just use it for internet browsing and just real basic functions, it, both of these will be suitable. Uh, and both of them out of the box will pretty much be very intuitive and a much better experience than, say, Windows is. Because Windows comes with a lot of things that people get confused on. They end up bloating it up and get infected. Uh, you don't necessarily have to worry about a lot of those things in Linux, which is powerful. Um, so that's where the basis is for those base users. But I'm going to go farther than this. We're going to go into installation and configuration. And during the installation portion of it, I'm definitely going to be kind of talking about uh, some of the nuances, some things that can get you during the installation, some errors that might happen. So I would definitely will fail the install off the get-go using older hardware that might not be compatible with one of the installation methods and uh, show you how to overcome some of those basic troubleshooting. And then get into more of the other things. But these Linux distributions, uh, both BOP and Linux Mint, just know that everything in Linux is modular. So when you think Windows and Mac, know that those are just basically what you get. You're not going to change a whole heck of a lot in either one. They're going to always look and feel pretty much the same thing. Linux is very different in this regard as you get to choose what you want. So uh, that's why all these distributions exist. That's why everyone makes a distribution and there's literally a hundreds and hundreds of them, but these two are the best starting out just because they have kind of polar opposites. Both are very stable. Both are very good for a new user uh, that doesn't know much about Linux. That's why I always say start with Linux Mint or Pop! OS. So uh, with that all said, I think we'll wrap up this video. Just know that this is a beginning video really meant to just kind of get your feet wet, kind of show you a couple things, but always start with that live CD. And then we're going to jump over to the installation video. So uh, click on the screen. I'll go ahead and put like a pop up here. Uh, if you're watching this the day of release, just know that that video hasn't been produced yet, but tomorrow's video is on the way with that. And uh, with that, I'll see you over in the next video.